seen the Molly line up here on Ascent with the hot hand. It's actually not going to be used. Curveball tossed out. Dash up and... Well, up close and personal, Anderson not going to find the kill. It's Ainge instead as Corey finds another. Looking to storm the ace. Sight and Ainge, unfortunately, just going to get overwhelmed as a long flank is making its way through. Kohler has since looked up out towards heaven. A one-way cage, not going to stop anything just yet. Harmon, unfortunately, gets caught out there. Now Kohler, the last one standing. The new addition to the new lead. Dash up through Mark at that door wide open. Ooh, and Kohler going to find the first there. Nice close-range battle with the Sheriff come out on top. All five, though, stacked up towards the spawn, and Corey's only able to net one. That spike will go down in the post plant. Not too bad. There's only three remaining here for FaZe. They have the weapon advantage, but the player advantage for DZ. One man still holding tight towards Aww. Mark, and the shock dart perfect. This is some damage. Baby J just got this down. And the last one standing here is Baby J. Very healthy. Xanderson on the spike. They have to push for it. No, he's coming. Spike goes halfway. Anderson going to hop off, try and play for the fight. And Baby J just working with the clock here. The spike stuck. And Harmon with the weapon picked up the classic. Games yesterday from FaZe. Uh, I mean, they had a heyday. They were having a good time finding frags. It was Corey and Baby Bay really getting things done. So we'll see if they come online here as Anderson. Finds a flank onto Baby Bay and Baby J. So both the babies taken off the board as Opshot goes wide. Screwface gonna fall. Zachary gonna net that one there. Bays find themselves still down a player. Talked about they can lean into the aggression when they need to get those early advantages, but the second they do, they pull back, they play the advantage, and whoo, hands maybe a bit over aggressive on that peak. Now the A site is open for business, but it is advantage by one. We'll I'll make it two off the swarm grenade. On the retake, Zachary in the clutch. What can he get done here? He has both the shadow steps and he's the first to finally position here. Isolate a duel. That's the necessity. Yeah, and I, I like that shrouded step because that could be up on heaven, right? A lot of the times Omen will go up on top of that box. It does seem like they are privy after hearing that one that he's right in the corner and Kohler gonna do his due diligence to clear that one out. So the first rifle round pick up and ready to do so. Screwface forced to back away. The back end of a missed off shot. Lear goes out. The blind is there. No matter. Harmon finds a kill. Finds a third. Give it all to Harmon here. Looking for the ace. Only one remains. And there it is for Dark Zero. Are looking to go right back towards that A hit that we saw early in the pistol round. The cage is there. Gonna push on through it. It's Baby J. And unfortunately punished. It doesn't clear all the angles. Kohler finds another the lockdown. Looking to push everybody off. We got two players out. One detained under hell. They look to take the fight right back to him. But Kohler not letting them on the site. Still a player to worry about as Zachary is going to go unchecked for now. Finds two kills on the round. Now looking to turn things upside down here. Screwface going to swing, but he had the operator. Couldn't find the kill, and Harmon has to do it again. Needs to find the multi-kill. There's the tag, the kill to come through. He knows exactly where the last player is, but he's running out of time. 18 rounds left here in the drum as Corey swings. Spike not halfway just yet. Running out of time. The shot's... Not gonna land either, so it's another A take for FaZe. That will secure their second. It isn't broke. Don't fix it, right? Just keep going towards the A side until it doesn't work. Baby J able to hop on the board with that lurk out towards mid and still holding his ground, so not gonna push too far forward. Doesn't want to get caught out just yet. Should he? It'll be Kohler to find that kill. Rock is gonna go with the Hunter's Jury. Finds a tag onto Harmon. Unfortunately, not gonna find the kill there. It's FaZe still a player ahead. The spike is down. Dark Zero working against the clock. They need to find something as they enter the site in a screw face again. Operator in hand. Hot hands go through. It's going to force out the position there, Zachary. But it's not enough to win the round just yet. It's all up to Ainge here. In a 1v3 situation. Aware of the flank. Aware of the players out towards heaven. Unfortunately, just running out of time. Running out of space. Only five rounds left in the mag. Trying to find push. And it's everybody stacked up towards Catwalk now. So again, they started off B. They want to end towards A. And it's Baby J finding damage on the lure. He's going to throw his ultimate ability as well. This forces them to have to hard clear him. And the knives go wide. Another frag for Baby J. He's still here. B site's open for wow. business. And Baby J just doing everything. Is it a lurk if you're just a one man army? He's created the show. He's allowed access to the site. And DZ, just to a retake up against four phase, turning things around Spike in a big way off that lurk.
And I love that off the back of that. Three kills away of Baby J, and he's still not getting over aggressive. He's still looking yeah. to play with the team. He, he's not trying to do yeah. too much uh, in swinging those players that he knows are pushing through spawn. So he, he jiggle peeks, he gets the information, he backs off. That spike goes down, and now this is just the best place, place to be in a 4v2 situation phase. Looking to tie things up, Anderson. Not to find the shots, unfortunately, leaving it all up to Kohler, who finds the first spot. Well, perfectly. BZ's trying to change up how they play around B, but just look at the aggression. Baby Bay trying to do what he does best with the wow. push off the knives, but somehow Kohler and DZ coming out on top phase down to two, and they have to concede those wet bike plans. They have to go aggressive here. Try and isolate one of these duels very early on, or else they're just going to get turtle over and ran down. And look at Harmon's alone. Rock is going to isolate this. Oh, Rockus finds one, make it two. Now the odds are even. Screwface narrowly getting bailed out there as Harmon finds the frag, the shot in the back to the pinch out towards heaven. But again, it's Dark Zero working against the clock. The recon bolt not to find the information, but the footsteps hurt. Zachary drops down, the swing out, the classic is there, but Zachary goes clutch. Zachary so huge in the, the sights with ADS with the Odin. Unfortunately, couldn't find it. Now Kohler going to make sure that Baby J. Not going to find any more value on the Lurk. It's going to get run down, though, and uh, this is a little awkward. Kohler kind of playing uh, a switch-up spot there, looking like an attacker, but still a defender. He makes his way back in through a main. There's that from the Shadows, used with the spike in hand. It's both players oh God. that we know and love from that last round, locking it down on the A site, while the rest of the squad here for FaZe looks to close out the round. through FaZe able to take down the Owl Drone, not before getting tagged out, able to kind of turn the odds there. Screw FaZe. Completely knew where he was at, but he still finds the kill. Unfortunately, he's a bit worse for wear. As they go back into the retake, nobody better here for FaZe to try and close things out, and that's exactly why. Another clutch round. Them early, so we'll have to see if they can make that change there. Again, more posture from FaZe towards A, just that mark with Baby J. They're still shooting aggro towards B main. Is a take towards A, updraft, tailwind, shrouded step, narrowly missed there. And Anderson's able to find two on the site, locking it down for a third. It's all up to Baby J across the map, but he cuts it down. Need to pull the trigger. That paranoia goes wide. The tag comes through. Heads up, Cam there. Doesn't get any better than that. Ten seconds left on the clock. Baby J looking to push heaven. Player out towards dice. The shot in the back maybe is there. It's two HP. We're running out of time. Has to stick it. Is going for the fight. Baby J, you absolute madman. But can't what? get it until it's too late. A 3k on Map control here for DZ with Kohler lurked up so far. We get something done in the late round here. Oh. Zach could find this frag and will connect it eventually. That holds DZ back to advantage, but Rock is in position to deny this. Baby Bay refighting the space. Wow. Kohler, his turret combines to help him out and pushes it down to a one versus four for Kohler. But the hell, two of these DZ numbers already down to one HP. They know exactly where he is. Should be able to shut this down. Yeah, a couple of a couple of stray rounds will absolutely close out the health bars on a few of the DZ members, and you still have two charges of that devour or that dismiss. On four, did just play this close angle? I believe it's a sh judge in the hands of Screw, and not even need is it's just chip damage for Ainge to close it out, Anderson. Still trying to find a way onto the site out towards A main. It's Zachary holding it down all by his lonesome, but only for a second. As Baby J brings up the rear, the spike goes down, and there it is. The dynamic duo locking down the A site, and we go 3k to the main front. Drone used, run it back to follow. He's going to be sent back. Nice shot there through the dark covers. Baby Bay finds the actual Phoenix, takes him down the dash away. Not going to be enough. Baby Bay to stay alive. Screwface finds some value with the judge as the door gets closed. Should be shot down. Nice and easy like. A 4v4 as that spike's been planted. Screwface finds another. Dashes forward. Looking for more. Not able to find it just yet. 4 HP says let's get out of dodge for now. Has some backup should he need it. It's still Kohler holding it out towards Catwalk as well. So the remaining three of FaZe still up towards heaven. Lear goes through. Corey gonna hop down. Unfortunately, pays for it with his life. Screwface finally will fall, but it's only four HP, so it did not take a whole lot. And that spike is ticking. They've got to go right here, right now. It's Zachary and Raucus again. Look to clutch things out. Zachary gonna hold it to half. Hops off the spike and finds the clutch. Now Bulldog again. 
Looking to get some damage, not able to find it. Anderson teleports onto the site with the ultimate and sticks it. I don't think anybody was expecting that. Screwface finds another kill. What a wonky way to secure the A site. But hey, if it works, it works for Dark Zero as all five remain. All five still incredibly healthy. And it's Kohler out towards mid once more. Narrowly missing out. See over under for Kohler and Baby Bay, but Baby Bay to find that kill there. So 26 HP, 26 health bandit. Strikes again. We'll find that kill. Recon dart. And a ping out too. Corey Rockets just looking to take the fight right to him. Odin for Odin. Flash for flash here. Anderson's able to find another and they get close. And they know the trap wire is there. That will fall as well. And Baby J now looking to take the fight. Anderson unspotted for now. Tag out onto one as Baby J flicks onto Anderson. Finds the kill and Rockets back in the kill feed. Wow, what a play there from FaZe to shut things down, but this round still very much could go the way of DZ. One picked up for range, and another for screw, but these players so isolated. And check out Baby Bay, the aggression is re-clearing a main. Now they have information that this either has to be kind of a cut noise, re-aggress towards B, or it has to be mid, and Baby Bay's about to find that out, about to shut- To afford, and he's been getting the job done, so can't complain too much. Nice shot to find the first. It's a headshot wasted, though, as it's very low HP. Daggers on line the right click gonna land the wind blade shower is there now screw face gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the clutch master zachary himself and the clock is ticking they need to find a defuse here if they want to keep the lead Screwface face backs way underneath the heaven position the spike yet to be tapped i would imagine a dark cover available shots trying to come down on the target the right click is just too close and it's the clutch to close Fortunately, the guys are still on the job. Baby Bay finds that first. Oh, nice one-way cage. He's going to net another kill on the opposite side of the map. Anderson looks to go back into the boathouse. Privy of this, though. As Baby J tries to take the fight and will fall. Recon Bolt can get the ping. Onto Zachary, who uses that shrouded step to get away. Put on the opposite side of the tall box and is able to find the kill. They're playing him like a fiddle here. As the lockdown comes through, it's a 1v4 situation and maybe biting off more than they could chew as Harmon. Has a whole lot to get done with a whole little. It's 58 health and a shock dart. A dream and an operator stare. Figured out as it's only one kill on the round thus far. ABJ forced to back away. Love Zachary playing towards that back of the side. And that recon bolt should get a nice ping onto one. Not going to spot out Ainge though. It was solid push towards the back of the site. We'll sit the Sova down. The information gatherers both taken off the board. Is Baby J the next to fall? Now Zachary alone and unafraid here on the site. Is going to eat a shock dart, take a bit of damage. Kohler swings, finds the shots. Dark Zero looking to take this one to map point. But they have just about 40 seconds to hang on here in a 3v2. Is can play this together. Baby Bay still up. Likely, we've had time to recover a rifle, so they can still get this done. But how will they isolate these? Smoke goes out first. They're pushing the site. One nice one-way smoke towards the back. Harmon with a nice swing, but it's cold to close it out. Ainge is there as well. 12 to 11. Me but look how much utility is here. So much use thus far as that Leer goes through. Baby Bay just looking to find a way onto the site. Use the cloud burst up draft. Tailwind there. Now on top of the generator. Kohler gonna go unchecked for now. Zachary the first peak. That's the spike down. Now trying to clear the site. Kohler finds another before falling. A two for one as Baby Bay has assumed the site and is looking for more. They're trading the kills right back. And Baby Bay still unanswered on the site. That spike is looking to take its leave. It's out towards A main, so it has been retrieved. The 3v3 situation. Baby Bay in the 20s in terms of HP once more. As a fake on the spike comes through, Odin still in hand for Harmon. As the Owl Drone gets queued up. Eight, eight seconds left on that recon. Oh, through the wall. That's just an easy kill to close it out. Recon bolt. Traded right back. Screw face. Couple of cloud bursts. Going to play inside of it. Rock is on one HP. It's really the Corey show here as anything will take down Rockus, and that is it. A dismiss. It's 12 HP to line up, but just can't get it. Corey, the last one, went really strong on attack. So FaZe kind of getting stunted on that attack. Makes the defense look tricky. Corey going to let one go just before Zachary gets spotted. Corey able to find another, so picking up right where he left off. On the attacking side, trying to get us a double OT, and it looks like it just might happen, but Mimi 
not in flawless fashion. That's not how this goes, right? Oh, oh that might just be down to Harmon. Harmon shut down. Corey just coming on. There it is through the tree room. Corey finds Anderson running the opposite way, trying to stop the take onto the side as Baby Bay has made his way up, playing around the dice. The turret spots him out. Ange finds one. Kohler's there to trade it out. Kohler finds another, and you just can't get in. Kohler, the bouncer at the door here for the A site. Zachary finds a kill onto Screwface, but that spike down in an awkward spot once more. This time a whole lot harder to retrieve from Rockus as he's able to find one kill and it leaves Zachary. You know what has to be an A site here. Both kills would get him the ultimate, but that would obviously get him the round as well. The spike needs to go down, is opting in to try and play the fights here in the 1v2, dancing around the generator, and well doesn't go. Point. Yeah, the time was so pivotal there, it would have taken a very fast decision. I thought he was going to use that second dark cover that he had on standby to try and make the run, make the rotation, but obviously mm -hmm. that would have been heard by advantage that he won't peek. Contact play here. Baby Bay will be able to swing off the man towards main, but instead it's Corey to likely take first. Corey, unfortunately, going to fall there. Trying to trade a bit of damage as they spot him coming on through. Kohler's able to find another. Baby Bay still finds a kill, though. Will be eventually traded. Now, once more, Zachary. One of the last few alive. This time it's with Baby J. Zange goes to heal up there with that Phoenix utility. Not going to have any of that. Try and stop a push here, and well, you take a look at the health bars. The headshots from the Phantoms are a whole lot stronger because you got some chip damage on the three remaining from Dark Zero, but they're looking to hang on. A paranoia, a couple of shrouded steps to work with. Harmon needs all 100 rounds in the Odin to try and make sure that you take some damage if you're going to push Heaven. Baby J finds the first. 43 health remains as he looks to trade something back. Anderson to close things out on a Zachary. It's a 360 jump down towards long and they have the cam and garage there should be no reason for them to rotate here because they have no information they'll hunker down with three here oh. but here's the execute from dc a huge paranoia but unfortunately wears off just a bit too early as we go two for two on the site rock is still holding it down closed off the low hp screw face now finds another in ains will eventually fall in a 2v2 situation is where we find ourselves and that spike goes down a dark clever to work with and only one player to worry about as Baby Bay will fall, Corey now needs to come up huge, just as he did on map number one. Anderson to swing, and it's another 30 being as short as it is. Looks so silly here in the hands of Rockus, but it, it doesn't feel silly when you grab a couple of those pellets on you in one shot. Can take you down, Zange. Understand that there might be a flank coming on through. Nice curveball, only able to find one, but one for one. Still a decent trade. It's Faze still a player ahead, though. The back into that early kill onto Kohler, and it's Baby Bay. I guess both now with weapons in hand. So two Spectres on the side of Phase, but they're running out of time. That Shorty maybe finally looking to come out of the corner. I think at this point, you just got to try and keep DZ corralled. Make sure that bonus absolutely hurts as Anderson finds two, stealing the kills away from his squad. Leaves it all up to Baby J in a 1v1, looking to do all the damage in the world. The screw face will back away, will hang on to his weapon as DZ find another round. And we get stumbled over the words there, thanks to the player's name. Shock darts. Gonna push Baby Bay away from that back of side screw face. Comes out on top. Ainge can hop on the board as well. Zachary only able to find one before being traded. As a run it back to be traded out. It's Corey looking to get something done, but just can't do it. The Phoenix is struggling with these run it backs to get something going. Hunter Shuri gonna delay the plan for now, but with a minute left on the clock, they can go right back to it. A reload at quite possibly. Could have been one of the worst times to do it as Anderson finds another kill, leaving it all up to Rockus, who used that Hunter's Fury moments ago. Now needs to find four kills here with the Vandal. Usually good for two. We'll see if that still remains true. Oh, this late lurk from Screw's face. I'm not sure if he's made noise yet. Rockus suspicious. Should be able to shut this down. But coming out of A, so Kohler's job very crucial here as the site secured and the plant down for DZ. It's actually two players. Kohler might just run into... Oh. Timing. Sneaks away. The shots go wide. And this is the Kohler Lurk. It's a bit more of a defensive one, though. Not pushing out to try and find a flank, but looking to answer one for himself. Armin is here to play the crossfire. Screwface finds the first frag onto Rocket. So information gathering kind of taken off the board as the trades are there. The dynamic duo... That's the buddy system working out perfectly as the Hunter's Fury comes through. The quick pace the Dark Zero is showing as here they go again. The Owl Drone to initiate, but Zachary has the paranoia ready. 
Cues it up, maybe a little low there. Tosses that one out as the sheriff shots go wide. Screwface still hanging out on top of the box. Will fall. Baby J, Baby J finds another, almost making it a third there. It's Anderson. Oh my goodness. If you blinked in behind that double stack box, it's Baby Bay and Corey to work together. Timing good. Kohler has a first hat thrown. Flash not good enough. He readjusts, has it. These duels are being given away for free. 30 seconds left. Now, Kohler. What will he get done? The read is there from the, the spike, which Kohler is standing right on top of. Now here comes the flank from back inside, and Rockus finds a way to get it done. Three kills on the round, and the thrifty to phase. True as well. So the op duel. I think this might even be the first round where both these jets have one in hand. When Corey using that running back and getting so much value, two kills before that ult will expire, courtesy of Screwface. Op shot lands. That's not the kill you were hoping to find on the ulted feet. site seems to be the decision, and well, it's not a bad one. Only Rock is here to hold down the site. Zachary could shut Kohler away. That he will. DZ to two. Operator's still in the hand of Screw, and you consider, is this a save, or is this a commitment? And well, commitment seems to be the name of the game, but Baby Bay on the case with Rockus. Rockus playing this corner. You have to check this one. Screwface finds it first. Baby Bay there to create it back. Going up top. Rockus goes away. Just gonna go dancing. Around there, the body of Harmon. Shock darts go through, and the spike too far. For any chip damage there as Corey hops back on the board. Anderson falls. Heaven once more. Assumed by phase. But what does that mean for the squad? As Baby Bay looks to push in off the back end of the Owl Drone. Goes over the top. The flashes are there. The right clicks are landing and everybody's falling. Kohler only good for one as phase will grab themselves a lead. It was looking so strong. Spectre playing the close angle here. Kohler not gonna check his corners. Corey and Baby J hop on at the board for the first two kills. Hot hands push through. Curveball push easy away for now. The last one standing was Harmon as the 4K swings the way of Corey. Harmon, if he dies here, this He's could go horribly wrong. It's actually a run it back use. Baby J holding down the side screw down, face. Finally a. taking a step back to try and help his team get on, but he's the lone member exactly for now. Uh, Neural theft goes through. Harmon still holding it down. The information is there. Rockus finds the kill. A 3v2 in favor of FaZe is Dark Zero. Try and battle back to break up the shriek. Zachary expects somebody to push Let out towards in. spawn. And well, shots on target. They're gonna land as Kohler, the last one standing. As the spike ticks down, it's low HP on one, but the other two here for FaZe. Incredibly healthy. Position given up. Kohler waiting for the next one to push. That can not in a great spot either as he peeks out. It's a headshot for Rock. And it's really hard to say because attack side is very good for FaZe. We have to wait on that thought because Screwface is in trying to make this space a la Baby Bay. And he makes the space, but he falls. So does the rest of his wow. squad. Baby Bay still hitting shots. Pick on the off. He's going to stop a push for now. So two from hey FaZe are halted. The curveballs get traded out. Shots on target for Ange. Kohler's able to find another nice trap wire. You can't get through that one this time around. As two kills are going to be traded back. Anderson has taken a position of his fallen teammates. Not able to find anything as the shock darts only get a bit of chip damage. And the two remaining in Screwface and Harmon look to bring up the rear out for the defender side and spawn. And they're all starting to fall once more. It's a 3k for Baby J. Very quick. Chaos is where lesser weapons strive. It's where FaZe strives. So I wouldn't even be surprised if they could pull something off here. However, Anderson ready with the paranoia. And it goes oh. huge. No one can see a thing. The Spectre good enough for two. And he'll fall back. And a wait as well for the rest of the team to bring up the rear. Zachary goes into the dark cover. Looks to find something. Not going to get it. Now DZ have to work against the clock in a 4v3 retake. Late lurk through mid from Baby oh J trying to shut something down. He could end this all right here, right now. And Baby J spots the counter flank. Tanner, this could end it all. This could end it all. Paranoia goes through. Only one kill found as Harmon falls. Anderson is there to trade. It's 3k. As Zachary peeks out from that default position. They're running out of time, Mimi. They have to get it done right here, right now. And they just don't have it. The play Fizzle. Able to stay alive for just a moment longer. As Dark Zero just failed to find anything here early in this round. Oh, this timing is so good for Baby J. He's made his way into window. Harmon, there's no way he expects this. Yeah, completely caught off guard. Marshall towards the long, not 
connecting his shot. It will now. Baby Bay down. He needs a little more, though. Another shot. That Bays for the last however many in a row. I believe 11. Yeah. This is for map three, but we're not there yet. Space to go aggressive out towards A. Another dink, so another bit of damage. So not too bad from Kohler there, but what does that mean? As Zachary goes onto the site, he's unanswered for now. Screwface able to find one, but we go back and forth on the kills. Ainge is able to send the run it back, right back. So traded out ultimates. Dark Zero, at the end of the day, still a player down. Yeah, they're down a player, and look at the space that FaZe has to work with. Rockus will be the first man in towards his site. The orb available. No one going for the recovery quite yet. They're just going to commit to this spike plan. DZ still fractured. Spike will go down. It's just this retake, and the weaponry, not Stop stellar that. to do so. The utility traded out there. pushes that wall being there. Oh, one gonna go over the top here. So Baby J trying to get aggressive with this team. Not able to find anything just yet. It's some chip damage traded back and forth. It's some eye contact. Now a spike to be planted, but five still alive on both sides of the board. As Kohler forced to back away, low HP finds a dink. 20 health now. So trading it out onto Baby Bay, who will fall. The first to go down, but the post plant will ensue. Baby Bay gets stabbed in the back. Corey still able to find another kill. Stays alive for a moment longer. It's a back and forth. It's chip damage for chip damage. It's a three for three. Alive and Ains just sticking it to get it done. The kills don't matter. You've got ice in your veins. Too long. Poison Cloud and Snake Bite looking to clear out the back right of sight. Make sure nobody's hiding behind the generator. Corey assumes a nice position up top in heaven. Is able to find another kill off the back end, so the comms a bit stagnant on the side of Dark Zero. If not the comms reactions, as Rockus on flank watch, able to find one, but it's traded out almost immediately. Leaves it all up to Anderson, who closed out the last round, Mimi, but 1v4. Uh, a whole lot more to digest here. It's Baby Bay instead. Finality on the team as well, so, you know, if Screwface is feeling down, it's hard for the rest of the team, I'd imagine, to keep the upward tempo in terms of energy. Zange does manage to find a trade kill some way, somehow. We'll toss up the barrier orb as well to stop a push from 410. So it funnels everybody on the side. Anderson this time, though, on the flank and will back away. So an afterthought. Now, FaZe is going to have to keep their eyes open for the flank. The wall goes up. Ainge is there on the other side. Able to find one. Baby Bay trades it back, though. Two remain in a 2v3 situation. The Empress is on and Corey... For this entire series, Corey has been on. So a very scary Reyna still alive as that spike tap comes through. Nothing just yet. Snake bites tossed out. Gonna go wide. Will delay for now. So will that kill as the spike falls. It's all up to Corey in a 1v3 situation. 25 seconds on the clock. So plenty to work with as that ult falls off. You lose the fire speed. You lose the instant heals and... Basically, the infinite utility that Reyna brings to the table. 14 seconds left as that spike goes down. All three looking to swing, looking to stop the plant, and they will do so. No extra credits as D slip away in the two VXs, the three VXs. And now it's another A site take and a relatively passive hold from DZ. Oh, trying to make a play forward. He'll double down. Two frags for the Reyna. Make it three. Corey on a tear and may have just, well, turn the round completely onto its head. A Viper's pit up. Uh, does DZ even go for this? One enemy remaining. But yeah, I, I got up the back end of a healing orb. Kohler the first to peek, and Corey just can't be stopped. Baby Bay right behind him. The duelist going right back to work for FaZe, and this is looking quite possibly. If DZ can't slow things down just I like that, Ainge and Anderson hop on the board, and they make me eat my words, Mimi, before I can even say it. A 4v2 situation. But Rockus, still a problem here. A resurrection still available as well, should Baby J choose to use it. Allies. And there it is. Things getting a bit more doable. Baby J trades out a kill with Anderson. 3v2. Easy. Have a res to work with, but not really in a position to use it. 30 seconds on the clock. Maybe they got to pull the trigger. I really do still have that resurrection to work with in DZ's camp for phase. They need to isolate these duels. Right here, right now, and Ainge still working towards front site. Can play the contact back yellow, and oh, through the sneaky angle, Rockus catches off his opponent. Now the spike is coming down. It's a 2v2, and Ainge oh, just spotted the cape. One enemy remaining.
remaining. Spike planted inside of Tube, leaves things all up to Rockus, but there's nobody better than Rockus right here, right now, to stay live in a 1v2 situation. Just needs to buy time. As a recon bolt gonna do that, it pushes Ainge away. The shot's gonna go wide. Ainge dances around the yellow box, and DZ playing this so passively, remaining. not wanting to give up too much, but Screwface steps out a bit too wide and takes a round to the face. Ainge needs to go right here, is able to do so. Play this round, it might just work out with the tailwind up. He's still trying to hold off this site. A wall goes up, one side goes down as a spike still hanging on. Maybe Jay forced to back away there. Hunter sure gonna be used. Screwface finds first kill. Corey on the lurk is only able to grab one. It's Kohler to battle back for another as that lockdown goes through. It forces FaZe to rotate towards the B site and they're running right in to the welcome arms of Anderson. I know utility down for him just quite yet, and Baby Bay working this lurk up towards mid, but Screw holding for it. No tailwind, but off this shot, he could find it. Steps made, Baby Bay aware, and it's Anderson to anchor the site. Now Spike on the floor, and Baby Bay falls. It's Zachary in the clutch. 30 seconds left. We talked about Zachary earlier. Unfortunately, it was alongside Rockets that they were able to clutch out rounds, and it was more than 35 health. It's all that separates him from death here in DZ from a fifth round. Find Screwface, the operator down, running out of time though. Needs to get the spike planted. Armin Q's up the left. recon bull. Not gonna get the ping. Another fake looking to play the kill. Screw still with the off in hand. Wasn't able to get it done last round. See if he can get it in this time. Ainge instead, one for one. One for one. It's Corey with the squad this time around. The judge starting to come online here for Zachary. The op shot not going to land, and it's all up to Anderson. So FaZe go right back to what was working previously. The A side hits. Xanderson. There's four players to worry about. One still way off out towards the spawn, making sure that this Viper isn't looking to play the lurk with the clock ticking. Maybe Anderson waiting for this wall to go down, but it's going to take some time. Finally, we start to see the cracks come on through. Anderson just needs to play for exits, needs to try and keep FaZe on the site here. And FaZe is already rotating away. They're trying to keep as many guns as possible in this one, and Anderson is able to cut down a single weapon, so a bit of damage done, but he should... Early. Looked like Baby Bay actually wanted to grab that altar, but is going to opt out of that one as Anderson playing the one-and-done spot, but it gets answered immediately. Corey just can't be stopped. He's in Cerebro right now. He knows everything that's happening on the side of Dark Zero. A couple of trade kills. We're gonna make things nice and even for a second. Baby J able to get Corey back online. He's there to trade it out. And now one standing. It's Kohler in a 1v1 situation. The spike is down at his feet. And okay, it, it looked pumped up there for a second. Maybe that was just the angle. Okay, so. I'm not wrong here. It does look planted. It is not planted. Zachary needs to retrieve, and the position has been given up. It's only 47 health here, though, for the Killjoy. So smart from Kohler here. Sir, it's spotted, so he'll push forward past it. Zachary, can he be ready for this? Oh. Baby J, ooh, spotted on the push forward. DZ, right now they have nothing to flush him out. And I might have heard incorrectly, but I think it also... <laughs> Bought out the tailwind there. Anderson finds the first Zachary there to trade it back. Low HP on the Viper. Means an easy cleanup kill there. It's three players playing out towards the B site. Dark Zero look to go elsewhere. Kohler trying to find a lurk. And this is the player to watch here on the pistol round. What can Kohler get done? Boombot goes out towards mid. Baby Bay. To try and slow down the push. The footsteps are heard. But how many is the question? Paint shells. Still in hand. They slow things down. All four players remaining here from FaZe are rotating back over towards the A side and DZ. They're moving, Mimi. They're moving back to B. Kohler can go huge here. It's a matter of timing, and Zach's ready for it. Kohler's tricks are noted. Every play in the book, FaZe is ready for. Now they have kitchen control. Screw, maybe in a position to shut it down, but plants in position. Zach spots out Screw. The cloud burst goes up. Both sides still alive. Rock is up above, going for this fight forward. And Zach trying to take it to DZ, but that gets punished. Screw one headshot onto the Ray, so he's down low, but Corey's still alive. Oh. Corey is still healthy, and that can be so dangerous. And that wall is so perfect. They don't really have a way in here outside of basically coming from kitchen. So now it is knifed through. 
Maybe Bay low on HP. Screwface still playing out underneath. Corey finds the first through the wall. The sheriff penetration getting the damage that they need. In his drone, this should be a free kill if they check above. They do find that frag. Corey, though, in an awkward spot. The one and done inside tube. We saw Screwface fall a little flat in this position. Maybe not the case here. The Nanoswarm gonna get shot. The heads up play by Kohler will allow Harmon to find the frag onto Corey as well as the upgrade in the rifle. This is, this round is playing out perfectly for Dark Zero here. Not something that I was expecting as Baby Bay goes running on through the spawn, gets taken down. So no flank watch needed any longer as the last two spotted for phase up towards heaven. Baby J looking for some damage, but it's a ghost to come out on top. It's screw face. To there was a gap to come through and will Baby Bay <gasps> Finds a nade kill. Oh, it was the double damage off the molly. Screw disrespected it this time, and that got punished. Anderson does trade, but huge utility combo from FaZe to start things off. Yeah, heads up play adaptation like coming through from the FaZe defense. Understanding that these guys are going to be a little disrespectful. Well, let's punish them. That is both players spotted. One tagged out as Baby Bay still on top. Maybe expecting a fall, but he's not going to fall back. It's Zachary and Baby Bay to hold it down. B-Long is not free for Dark Zero as they continue to fight for a Baby Bay will fall. And Baby J is looking for a flank here. The resurrection comes through. The operator is back online. Baby J back in the spawn, able to find the first. Looking for some more finds. Kohler leaves it all up to the resurrected Screwface, who has one HP. An operator in hand and a player behind him. It's Zachary on the bench as he trades out a drone of his own. Not able to get high enough as the Viper's pick comes down. The wall goes up. The spike looking to get planted as well. Ainge is going to get that one down, working back towards the resurrection. Now Anderson inside the Viper's pit. Oh, so close here. Unbeknownst, obviously, Baby J might find a backstab pushing into the pit, but the clock is ticking. And all DZ need to do is run it down. His position what? here, very crucial. Oh, there's a pit, pit on top of pit, but one Viper falls. Anderson's pit is gone, but there's still another world to live with in here. Showstopper forward, screw shuts down, resurrection up. What is going on? It's so confusing. In the hell of utility, screw finds another shot through the smoke with the operator. Spike still not being diffused. Kohler still in close. The flick so precise. Zachary oh trades, God. but just listen to the time. There's nothing left. It's over. Everything's face to second guess himself. Corey has fallen back. Yeah, well, how about when you hear the the most fraggingest player in the lobby pop the Empress, you play slow. That's exactly what happened. I think that's why they were playing slow. And, well, you, you, you get to see another look at why they were doing it as a duelist starts to come online for phase. It's core to find one as that Empress falls off. Baby Bay to find another looking for the spray down, but Harmon is there to trade it back. A close angle. Not going to get cleared out. The spray down, the collateral, the 3K for Corey as Ainge, the last one standing. With not Ten enough time left. on the clock, this is where FaZe needed to back advantage for Dark Zero. The blades are online for Screwface. Dude, he need them in a tight spot. And with no shields, that's plenty of health with the Operator. Baby Bay, gonna make sure Screwface stays dead this time around. Finding the second frag onto the jet. Still a player advantage. Oh, oh my god! god! Double kill from Baby oh, Bay, the showstopper, looking to do just that in round 21. Harmon, the last one standing in a 1v3 situation, has plenty of time, but how much space, how much room, and how much wherewithal? He finds the first kill, needs to find the next. He's gonna swing out onto Rockus, not able to do it, and Baby B. Nice poison cloud, gonna funnel them all. That far side of Long's Baby Bay looks to swing with the operator. Screw face spots the elbow, takes the shot. The shot will land as Baby Bay falls. It's operator down. And we'll see if Zachary wants to try and retrieve that one. Or if they continue to hold it down. Two to two split here. It's actually, Corey, the only one on A as Rockus is backed away towards that spawn. Not spotting anything out towards mid. Not a whole lot of ground. Assumed here, Baby J though, takes the operator out, so op for op we go as Harmon trades it back, the Bulldog takes a bite out of the Sage, and DZ find themselves with the player lead once more. And look how much position they have, they're leaving Kohler to try and lurk, and this position could go so huge late round. No matter which site they commit to, they'll have him here, screen down, Zachary up aggro. This is, this is really all on Zachary, he dies here and the round's over for FaZe, but they line up! Oh. Only one trade, stay even, and remember where Kohler is. And that's not a bad trade there. It is a player advantage still for DZ, but that flank is coming through. That player advantage is the one on the flank. 
Ainge, that spike needs to get planted. Ainge will get it down. The healing orb helps top off the Viper as well. He backs away towards yellow. Kohler with the backstab. Rockus goes down, and now Corey doesn't know what to think. Out towards Snowman, stuck in no man's land. As that turret will get all the information as Corey looks to push up. Risky plays, and, and he does it exactly when the squad needs it. When they needed it most, because that was the round that either decided get if we talk To find somebody as that recon bolt goes down. The blade's still online. Oh. Baby Bay waits on the other side of the wall. And the timing oh, is there. Oh, Anderson's able to find a kill. Traded right back, though. So a two for one as that spike goes down. Faze need to hold on as Rockus swings right into the crossfire. And Harmon with the backstab. Once more, Rockus finds nothing. Now Zachary and Corey need to come up huge. In a 2v4 situation, they've got the weapons. But again, do they have the wherewithal? One spotted out. Shots on target. Cloud burst to get Screwface away. Playing with the blade still. Zachary finds the first. This is looking good for now. The Nano Swarm slows things down for just a second. Phase events are going to have to pull the trigger on it. Hunter's Fury sure going to find the tag, but they go halfway with it. Corey able to find another kill. And now Corey, the last one standing. And again, it's the clock that works again.